Why well, hey, you viewers of Game Later? How are you doing today? All right, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna call this one. I pulled my live feed last night for one simple reason. I caught some of the unedited atrocity footage that these motherless dogs called Hamas are putting online. It's barbaric. It's inhumane what they're doing. What further enraged me was two little things. Not that long ago, me and my uh, monsters were watching Sing. You know, that little um, animated movie where farm animals were putting on a talent show and singing songs that were popular at that point? My kids got up and decided to dance. So I decided to... <clears throat> Facebook live stream it. It was pulled right away because I didn't own the rights to that music. Just pulled right away. If you use the wrong fucking pronoun or neo pronoun nowadays, they come for you. They deplatform you. They dox you. They destroy your life. But these pieces of shit can broadcast this fully. We have idiots in New York putting up signs going queers for Palestine. L let me clue you in on something. They'll fucking kill you because you go against Muhammad's rules. I think Donald Trump Jr. responded to that best when he went chickens for KFC. We have sitting members of our elected officials throwing up Palestinian flags right next to gay pride flags. Mixed message there, huh? I was really outraged when I saw Black Lives Matter in Chicago and L.A. putting out statements in support of Hamas. Right now, in the comments section, drop me one motherfucking thing that BLM has done for anybody. One except enrich their founders' lives and give them great real estate homes. You're putting out statements talking about colonizers and how you can understand the oppression of the penal system and the eradication of your people. Go look at the crime stats, you fucking piece of shit. I have to explain this to my kids. Them dancing went against terms and services, but I can watch a massacre via a GoPro I'm still really enraged about this, but I'm in a better point than I was last night. So if I had went live, it would have been a lot worse than what I'm saying right now. If you support Hamas, go fuck yourself. If you support this massacre, go fuck yourself. Oh, to you idiots in Dearborn who held the pro-Palestine rally last night and uttered this statement live, you will see pro-Israel and pro-Jewish propaganda at a white national rally. White supremacists support Israel. You've missed the fucking point. Do we not remember Charlottesville and all the uproar over that chant? There was something blank will not replace us. What was that word? I don't care if you sit and you go, oh, not one penny of the six billion has been spent. I, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe the bullshit the current administration is throwing out. <laughs> because for eight years under Obama, they were trying to kiss Iran's ass. Trump brought it to a screeching fucking halt. What'd Joe Biden do? Eh, get rid of them Trump regulations. Iran, we love you. They're the world's leading sponsor of terrorism. But I got to deal with idiot Americans who are in places like Harvard, you know, David Hogg's alma mater, holding a pro-Palestine rally. Now, don't get me wrong. I am all for every citizen on this planet in the country that you live in. You should have the right to govern yourself. 
But Hamas is a terrorist organization that installed itself and said point blank, oh, we were elected. No, you aren't. You took over the country. Hmm. I'm reading things online where, like, Ben Shapiro retweets some of the IDF stuff, and people go, oh, it's Ben Shapiro. You can't believe it. Don't ever trust anything he ever says. If you support terror, if you support these atrocities, and you support this genocide that's going on, please remove yourself from my life. These little kibbutzes, I had to go look them up. I had no idea what they were. These animals raided a commune. They eradicated one-tenth of the population. Most of these little kibbutzes. As they call it, these kibbutzes or rapisniks get together and they have a commune and they grow their food and they pull their resources and they support one another. Okay, cool. They're unarmed. They were going into safe rooms and massacring people in their little bomb shelters. Keep shoving grenades through the little slits and everything else they could put through there to eradicate them. Go look at the video of these bastards opening up refrigerators, drinking their orange juice, and then setting the house on fire. This is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. But I'm telling you right now, I served in our armed forces. I've been overseas. I've seen firsthand what stuff happens. Get your head out of your fucking ass and do a little bit more research. Seriously. Pro Hamas? How fucking lame are you? What are you next? Pro Taliban? And yeah, I know this video is going to get me in a lot of trouble. I don't give a fuck. They attacked. They massacred. When Israel hit back, Hamas went, hey, we'll negotiate. You cannot negotiate with people who want you dead because you exist. The negotiation point is a time for them to re-equip, re-arm, and re-attack. Yeah, I'm pissed because I'm watching the news when my little girl gets home yesterday and they're talking about the babies being massacred. And then I got to read online for some dipshits going, who remember back when, when George Bush stated something? I'm not going to believe it till I see the footage. There's so much footage. What more do you need? A grandmother being taken hostage. Children being ripped from their mothers and taken hostage. Women being beaten, abused, stripped, and tied to vehicles and paraded around. Them jumping up and down on dead Israeli defense forces screaming, Hello, Akbar! What more do you need? If you support Hamas, get yourself out of my world. That's the best thing I'm going to say. Don't speak to me. Unsubscribe if you need to. Move the fuck on with your life. Because if I find out you're pro-Hamas, you're done. This shit is going to get a lot worse. We live in a generation now where everything is televised. Everything is out there. These mongrels are taking their cell phones of the hostages, calling their family, and making the family watch these people get executed. They're massacring defenseless people on these kibbutzes. A, a, a top-ranked general described it as a bloodbath from hell. Get help. Fuck Hamas.